I am so excited. One of my favorite things in the whole world is to have a big house full of people and serve them good food. It's partly why I bought this big old dining room table where we could squish 10 people in. It is entirely too big for the room and I don't care because I'd rather have more people and uh, better food and uh, squish people in. The more the merrier. The other thing I'm super excited about are these dishes. When I first opened Quirky Faith, we found these dishes at Goodwill. It was like the very first week and I was so excited. It was like a gift from God that said, hey, I've got something for you. I think these are super fun. And they just encouraged me to say, hey, God sees you. You know, here, here's your logo showing up. Buy these dishes, feed people's soul. So it was super fun. And I'm excited to have um, a dinner party tonight in the name of Quirky Faith. Now, here's how you get invited to a Quirky Faith dinner, is you submit a story to the Wall of Faith. If you don't know what the Wall of Faith is, it's definitely time to come check it out. You go to uh, quirkyfaith.com, go to Wall of Faith, and what you'll find there are guest blogs from other people. There are men and women, there are funny stories, there are heartbreaking stories, but what you'll see above all is the grace of God. And you'll see people who are vulnerable and took the time to share their story. Now, the reason that I reward these people with a fabulous dinner, tonight we're having, um, we're having appetizers. And the appetizers are creamy chicken tartlets. And then we're having uh, prosciutto and caramelized onion and brie pinwheels. And then we're having a classic wedge salad with blue cheese and red onion. And then for dinner, we're having uh, Jen Hatmaker's recipe of beef uh, uh, bourguignon. And then for dessert, we're having my mother-in-law's classic triple berry crisp. So people should be full and well-fed when they go home. Now, again, I want you to come. You're more than welcome. If you turn in a uh, wall of faith story, you get invited to the dinner. It's that easy. It's a little bit like faith because all you have to do is accept the invitation. And in this case, the accepting is to share your story. Put your faith out there. Be vulnerable and accept it. Now, the other reason that I do the Quirky Faith Dinner is to say thank you to my writers. But more than that, it's because I think it's a beautiful analogy of what happens any time we share our story. When we tell people about how God changed our life or we tell people about um, a time we were vulnerable, People don't feel alone and they go, oh, you too. Or there's hope that enters a story. And when that happens, we build bridges, we heal communities, we encourage our brothers and sisters. And the other thing is that we can set ourselves free. Sometimes sharing your story breaks the bonds of those um, secrets in your own life. And when you share your story and you confess and you say, this is where I struggle, this is where God has helped me overcome, it takes away all the shame. And you'll see that there's great grace in sharing your story. And so I believe that everyone has a story. Now, does everyone have to share it on Wall of Faith? Of course not. It's maybe not the right venue for you for a whole variety of reasons. But you have a story and you should share it with someone. Whether that's you know, your coworkers or your children or writing it you know, to relatives or to share with a counselor if it's too painful. Keeping your stories inside is not healthy and sharing them can build hope. So uh, tonight we're going to have a great time. We're going to laugh. We're going to be encouraged and I'd love to have you come along. So send me your stories and we'll encourage the world.